Okay, I'd like to do a quick code review on my Spring Boot MongoDB example application. So this is up on GitHub, and you can find it under my repository, Spring Framework Guru, slash spring-boot-mongodb. Pretty creative name there. This is an example, Spring Boot application connect to MongoDB, not necessarily running in Docker, but I can connect, can connect to any MongoDB database. So let's take a quick look at the code in it. Do a quick code review. So I already have it loaded up in IntelliJ. So let's start up from the domain up. And what I have is a product, and this is a, a standard mapping class for Spring, mapping out to a Mongo document. So no big mystery there. We just have a, a product class with an ID, description, price, and image URL. So I said nothing terribly exciting there. Now I do have a couple converters. So I am using a form, command form, some people call it, or a command object to, to back it. So this converts it back and forth. So here's my product form. It's a command. So really the biggest difference there is that we are treating the ID as a string because the Mongo database type does not really transfer over to the web here very well. So we do need to convert that back and forth. So next thing to look at is our uh, standard Spring MVC controller. So and this is a controller that's going to be facing out to the web and handling web requests for us. I did jump up a little bit. And if you're following along, this pattern is going to look very, very familiar. So I have a service layer that interacts with my controller layer. So there's my interface for the service. And then there's my implementation of it. And I am using Spring Data uh, repositories for this. And I'm also, also wiring in my converter. So I wire in the two dependencies. One is the product repository, which is provided by Spring Data. And this is the Mongo uh, implementation that I am using. And everything's wired up. And then finally, we have a couple time leaf templates here that we use to show the data. So I'm not going to get into all the all the details here, but you can see what's going on here. So nothing too terribly creative here. Kind of a, a quick and dirty to get this working. It is not uh, production grade by any means. And then let's take a quick look at the dependency. So you can see there in line 17, I am in fact running a Spring Boot 1.5.1, and that is the most current release of Spring Boot at the time of writing, or at the time of recording, I should say. And bringing in a couple other dependencies, and these are important. So I'm bringing the Spring Boot starter data for MongoDB, as well as Timeleaf, Web, and then, of course, the test. And this POM is fairly untouched since I pulled it off of uh, Josh Long's favorite website, spring.start.io, or I'm sorry, start.spring.io. Messed up that URL, so you can go down and grab this at any time. So let's go ahead and take this for a spin. And what I'm going to do is I have a command line uh, ready over here. And I have uh, Docker, where you got there. So that's a standard run command for Docker. So Docker run, map out the ports for the uh, latest image of Mongo and the minus D parameter tells it to run it in the background. So that is now running. I can do Docker PS, see that it is running. And let's do Docker logs minus F. And I'm going to give it the image name here. And paste that in. Now we can see that that is running. Now let's bounce over to IntelliJ, and I am going to start up my Spring Boot application. You can see that Spring Boot is initializing, and pretty light project, so it's going to come up pretty quick, and it is running on Tomcat. Now if I look at the window, you can see that I have a new connection established to Docker. I don't have the log level turned up on this, so we won't see any database activity. And let's come over here and localhost 8080 and that's going to do a redirect to product list and I did not initialize any data in the database so but I can't come in create a new product 
new product, it's about $22, and URL. It's not doing any data, data type checkings there. So it, it will show me that uh, this is a created, this is the Mongo ID that was created. So now if I come back over here, I can see that it is listed. And should I want to edit it? And let's say do, do, do new product two 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 two, and I am going to submit it. And we can see that that has been updated. And if I come back to the, the index, again it, it redirects to product slash list. And since I don't have too much interesting here, and it, it shows that uh, that update has been persisted, and that is getting pulled out of the Mongo database. Thank you.